Good afternoon. Welcome to MP, M MTP number 11. It's a little late. We're on our, I think, 10th or 11th case. Um, and uh, today we are going to answer Stephen M's question, which was, how long do you wait uh, before you consider a penile implant after taking medications? And today I have with me two young urologists going out into the world um, uh, from training at University of Maryland, my alma mater. We have Ian and David here, and they're going to be going to what Wisconsin and Carolina, respectively, correct? Um, and these guys are already fantastic. They blow away almost every fellowship program trained. I've, I've uh, a guy that I've worked with, and so wherever they're going, look for them. Um, so I'd like to hear what their response is, even though, remember, they've been in a residency program, which is a little bit different. And, you know, you're going to see these kind of guys when you get out and practice. So what would you tell a guy, you know, that asks that kind of question? And how would you advise your patients in the future? Well, a lot of people who do implants, um, they have diagnostic studies such as ultrasound that they can do that can give you additional information that can help uh, kind of guide you and, um, and give you some information on um, if other treatment modalities are going to work um, or if you are probably going to need an implant. So um, uh, the one thing you have to worry about when you have erectile dysfunction and you're not getting erections. Um, you can get penile atrophy and penile shortening. So um, waiting and not doing anything if you're not getting erections sometimes uh, makes your penis shorter. And so uh, gaining that information on the front end can help uh, determine if medicines, uh, injections are going to be helpful. And so uh, I, I think it's uh, beneficial to get that on the front end. Great. Thank you. How about you? I think Dave. that when you, you offer a patient pills first and hopefully you educate them how to use them properly and I think if they're not working within within like a, a month or two you'd have a pretty good idea of whether or not um, they're going to be progressing down that algorithm um, so if the pills aren't working within a month or two I'd imagine you'd be starting to think about that pathway towards surgery uh, shortly after that um, yeah so hey, the, the one common theme that I think I hear is that it, you know you should move rapidly and the, the word algorithm came up and yeah, there's a lot of different ways that doctors approach you know the, the patient with erectile dysfunction even though our our guidelines have changed recently I, I think the one takeaway message from two very young smart guys is that you need to find somebody that is trained in sexual medicine you need to find somebody that's going to use di these diagnostic uh, uh, um, um, the tools that we have available to make uh, the proper diagnosis and guide you down that algorithm as quickly as possible because if you don't use it you lose it so our advice the three of us today is for it was Stephen M that yeah, don't wait too long try to find somebody who's a specialist in sexual medicine try to find somebody that will do these special uh, studies like uh, the penile duplex to to sort of pigeon you hole you into the proper place which is going to be either pills shots or a penile implant and hopefully if you're in one of these states go visit these guys all right thanks have a wonderful week and we'll see you next week on meet the penis